Hi, I'm Daniel Reifenberger. I just went through the Immersion Strategies section of the Zero to Launch course, and I noticed that Ramit had mentioned Reddit as a great place for learning more about your potential customers. Now, I've actually been researching and promoting things on Reddit for about the last year for a lot of different clients, so I thought I could add a little bit of value back to the Zero to Launch community by showing you my method for going through Reddit and uh, researching things. So here we go. When you first go to reddit.com, you're going to see a whole bunch of things that aren't in any way related to your customer or your business. Uh, they actually call right at the front page of the internet because it's basically all the stuff that's buzzing and people are into uh, on the internet. And most of that's just pictures and memes and funny stories. Now, if you want to find your customers, you actually have to do a little bit of searching. Uh, so one of the examples that I like to use is sustainable energy. Uh, and I like to use that because a lot of people challenge me all the time saying, oh, well, Reddit can't be used for this or Reddit can't be used for that. Uh, so someone challenged me with that, and I thought it was a really good example, so we're going to do that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is actually go over to the right-hand side uh, to search Reddit, and we're going to do sustainable. I'm just going to click that there and press return, and that's going to do a search. Now when you do that, uh, you could look at all these posts, but they're not going to be nearly as powerful as this little section right here. These are all the subreddits, or subdivisions of Reddit. Uh, and what that means is all these posts that are under these subreddits are specific to topics that people are interested in. So that's a really great place to find pools of customers based on their interest. So in this case, uh, I'm going to hold down the command key on my Mac, or if you're on a Windows machine, you can hold down control. And what that does is anytime you click on a link, it opens a new tab. So we can uh, store up a whole bunch of tabs to work through this. So I'm going to hold down command and I'm going to click on environment. I'm going to click on Evolve Sustain on green. Uh, let's see here. Overpopulation. I don't know what permaculture is, but we'll try that. Sustainability. Energy. Maybe Ask Science. We'll give it a shot. And remember, some of these things aren't going to work out. Uh, just grab all the ones that you think are going to apply. And um, let's also do a search for environment. Uh, and we see some other ones here. Let's see. So I think we already did environment, but just make sure I'll grab that again. Uh, there's biology. So you knowing your customers or you knowing your market, you're going to know a lot more keywords. So we're just going to do those two as an example. Uh, but you can keep going through this process to find more and more. Uh, but I think we found a, a pretty good chunk here. So now I'm going to go through all the tabs up top here. Uh, so the first one you'll see here in environment, the environment subreddit, there are 16 116,000 readers. So think of that. That's kind of like having an email list of 116,000 people at your fingertips. Now, you don't even have to post anything here. You can just look at what people have already done. So to actually see the front page of uh, the subreddit for environment, I just click on the word environment here at the top, uh, and you can see. Now, in order to break this down or to speed up this process, I like to look at what is most popular in these subreddits. And you can do that by clicking on the top tab. Now clicking on the top tab is going to sort everything by most popular. And things are made popular in Reddit when people vote up uh, on things. And if they don't like them, they vote down. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about the upvote and downvote. Uh, the most important thing here is the links from, and you can say today, this hour, this week, this month, this year, or of all time. I like to start out of all time. And this just gives you a really good idea of what the overall subreddit is about, and you can get some very general themes uh, about your potential customers. The other thing to check is the side over here, the sidebar. Uh, this can give you a lot of information about the backstory and what types of people uh, are here on this subreddit. Uh, but just, you know, you can look at the first one here. So Shark Week focuses on sl slaughtering sharks at an alarming rate rather than pseudoscience. Uh, so this is a little bit more about uh, animals and things like that. But going through here, you can get a good idea. Now, since environment has 116,000 people, you can actually get some more recent stuff. So we could even go to today and see that even a lot of this stuff is popular and has comments. Uh, so uh, that's another thing you can do is click on the comments, and you can go in here and read through what people are actually saying. Uh, if you click on environment again, you can go back. So I like to look at the headlines to see what people are clicking on or what, what gets them interested. And then uh, do that first and then dive into the comments 
And you'll be surprised, sometimes the least popular stuff actually has the most comments. So I like to look at things with a lot of comments, and I like to look at things uh, at the top and just get a general sense. So again, Ramit said it's going to be messy. Uh, this is kind of messy. Uh, and in order to do this, I actually usually just have a text edit document open on the side here, and I will copy and paste uh, things that I find interesting. So if I see a headline or something that's really cool, uh, I'll just paste it in there and then sort it all out after I'm done looking through at it. So I'll close that tab. Uh, so this one is on Evolve Sustain 444 readers. Not a lot, but maybe you could still find some good stuff if this is uh, in your niche. Uh, green, so there's 18,000 people here, quite a few. So if I click on green on the top left here, and then go to top, uh, we can look at today. So you can see that even today there's some posts, so it's pretty active. Uh, maybe we go to this month since it's a smaller one uh, to get a little bit better idea and look through the comments. Oh, uh, last thing here. On some subreddits, they actually have a list of related subreddits. So under green, you can see biology. Oh, so here's some other ones we didn't see. Conservation, homestead, uh, sustainability, climate, renewable energy. Uh, so sometimes one subreddit can give you a whole bunch of other related ones. And a lot of times I've actually found out about things I didn't even know were related uh, to my customers beforehand before seeing uh, these subreddits and how they were connected. Uh, the last piece of information that I'll leave you with on this whole process is something that I sometimes forget and I see a lot of uh, newer folks mess up quite a bit. And that is they go after the subreddits that they are interested in instead of the ones that their customers are interested in. So I would always think of where are my customers going to be. And the example that I would give is, let's say, for instance, I was in the business of doing copywriting for real estate agents. Now, if I was a beginner in doing that, I might go and look in the copywriting subreddit and all these other places that I was interested in about learning more about my craft. But really, that's not going to find me any real estate agents. So you want to go to the subreddits where your customers are. So I would go to subreddits about real estate and homes and home building and, and all that other kind of stuff where you might find real estate agents. So just remember, go to the subreddits where your customers are, and a lot of times those will align with what you're interested in, but just be careful you're not looking at all the stuff you're into and not to where you'd potentially find your customers. And with that, uh, that's pretty much all I have along uh, this process. So I hope that helps. And uh, just you know, leave a Facebook comment and let me know what you think. Uh, I'll do some more stuff if people find it helpful. Thanks a lot.